Here we are. Just finished Verasion. And the crew came through and did what's called a green drop. This is where you drop everything that was still green at 85 or 90 percent Verasion. So in other words, you're dropping about 10 percent of the fruit on the ground, but it's lagging behind. So fruit that is like second crop and on short shoots that does not ripen as well or evenly, it might eventually ripen, but uh, it's best to get it off the vine and let uh, the vine focus on ripening the, uh, the fruit that's on those shoots that are three to four feet long. And uh, usually you want about two clusters max per shoot. The uh, fruit here, this is uh, very well done. I give it a B plus, but um, some vineyards uh, are more meticulously uh, managed now the, um, than this one. So we're looking at about three tons per acre here. And uh, this is clone 115. Uh, we're we're in uh, we're in uh, late July, and based on the current bricks, which is about 16, 16 uh, bricks right now, about a point to a point and a half uh, increase per week. We're looking at that early September uh, or mid September to pick this. We usually pick somewhere around 26 bricks, but it's solely based on the condition of the fruit and the flavors coming from the skins. We only monitor the sugar uh, and the acid and the pH to give us a baseline, a rough idea, kind of a mark of when, where we're at. So, um, this vineyard's been producing excellent Pinot Noir. And it's a low vigor site. The soils are thin up here. Usually getting about two to three tons per acre. As you can see the vines look very balanced, three to four foot long shoots. And uh, pretty much textbook perfect. We walk the rows and check periodically throughout the year and see how the thing is looking. And uh, once we hit about 22 bricks, we're out here first thing in the morning, every day, checking the fruit. Got to pick it just at the right time. So it's all about once everything else is done correctly, when you pick is the critical decision, and then when to press off and how to handle the fruit in the winery, of course. But uh, when to pick to get that optimal ripeness on everything is key.